Hello everybody, welcome. Today we're going to talk about why the newer processors, um, Intel i9, um, Ryzen Threadripper, well I can just go down the list of all the new processors that Windows 7 has officially announced that they're not going to be supporting, and or Microsoft in turn Windows 7 won't be supporting. But you all probably also, you know, trying to figure out, well why would they not want to support you know the newer processors and the funny thing is they're, they're not necessarily saying that they're going to stop supporting everything they're just going to stop supporting the newer stuff and uh, you know that's that's a really good question and you know I feel like uh, in order to explain this I gotta go through a couple points so first of all as you know when you buy Windows you buy a one-time kinda copy of it and you know Microsoft has always kinda made it where you had to get the you know pay for the next version and then they finally got to the point in Windows 10 where they just said hey anybody can upgrade and you know, if you think about it from how Microsoft's supposed to make money, how is Microsoft supposed to make money? Um, you know, when they they used to make money just by selling the operating system, and now you um, you know you get it for free to upgrade, and that really doesn't make sense. You're like, well, where are they getting the money from? And it turns out Windows 10. I'm just gonna put it out there pretty blatantly, is makes money off of you. And now you're thinking, well, how could Windows 10 make money off of me? And even if you don't like. I don't know, even if you go ahead and maybe upgrade or something, Windows 10, each person makes, like, they get money from selling information that they collect from your computer. So, Windows, or Microsoft basically collects a bunch of info from you if you're using Windows 10, and they go through and they sell it to people, and they make more money off of doing that than they do off of making the operating system. So, that's why they were pushing Windows 10 so hard is, hey, if we push Windows 10, everybody will get on, on board, and then we'll end up with making more money that way than, instead of consistently having to sell operating systems. And now, you all are probably wondering, well, oh boy, I don't want to have, you know, my stuff monitored. And the, the really the biggest issue with that is, you've got to go through and you know, there's, um, exec, or, I'm trying to what's called, executive edition, or is it, um, it's like, it's like the, it starts with an E, I'm sorry, I forgot what it was off my top of my head, but it's a certain version of Windows that's, like, limited on that kind of stuff. I don't know if, if, you, it's like $300, and I don't know if it's really worth that, but, I mean, I just feel like, you know, instead of going through and telling us, playing out, hey, we're going to monitor your data and sell it and make money off of you, um, instead they just make it so it's really cheap to get, um, you know, first copy of Windows, and then, you know, maybe you can upgrade your stuff. Um, and the reason why they're not supporting the um, new processors, the i9, Ryzen processors, um, Threadripper processors and stuff, is because simply they just want people to switch, and that's the only reason. There is no technical reason. They used to support it, and now they're just choosing not to. The only reason they are choosing to do it is simply because they just want to make more money. And there's 